Hello everyone. Today in this lecture we are going to find out what is trapezoidal rule. Okay, and where will we implement trapezoidal rule? Okay, so basically trapezoidal rule is implemented on an integration uh, sums. Like if you have been given an integration value, like I have to find the integration of this sum using ten intervals. So I should use trapezoidal rule or there is one more rule which is Simpson's rule. Okay, so for the Simpson's rules we will discuss it in the later classes, but Today we are going to learn what is trapezoidal rule. Okay, so this is my function given. Uh, this is the lower limit. This is the upper limit, and this is my f x, which is four x minus three x square d x. Using ten intervals, I have to find out the value of f x using ten intervals. Okay, now what is internal gap? Okay, internal gap is upper limit minus lower limit by number of intervals. Okay. What is the upper limit over here? One. What is the lower limit, which is zero? One minus zero by how many number of intervals? Ten, which is zero point one. Okay. So I have my internal gap. Okay. Now I have to construct a table using this. Okay. What is given in the question? It is given that using ten intervals, I have to find the value of f x. Okay. So uh, what I will do from uh, zero, starting from zero. Giving an increment of zero point one, I will go till I get the upper limit. Okay, again I am repeating, starting from zero, incrementing zero point one, I will go till the upper limit. Okay, starting from zero, again zero point one, incrementation of again zero point one, again zero point one, till I go till I have reached the upper limit. Okay, now what I have to do? I have to put my value of x zero and I have to find my f x, which is over here. If I put zero in x, what will I get? Zero minus zero, which is zero. So I have written over here. Okay. Again, putting uh, x is equals to zero point one minus three into zero point one whole square. I will get this zero point three seven. Again, putting zero point two in this, I will get. 0.68 and same i will construct this table okay till from the lower limit to the upper limit okay remember this thing from the lower limit to the upper limit incrementing just the internal gap okay now what is my formula my formula is h by 2 h what is h h is the internal gap okay h is the internal gap h by 2 bracket y0 plus yn which is y0 this is y0 What is y n? This is y n, y zero, y n plus two into y one, y two, y three, y four, y five, y six, y seven, y eight, y nine. Okay. So I have done till y n minus one and n is my ten, n minus one which is nine. I have started from y one to y nine. Okay. I have just put it my value over here. What is the value of h, which is internal gap? Internal gap is zero point one divided by two. Zero plus one plus two into the values. Putting, uh, getting from here zero point three seven, zero point six eight, zero point nine three, one point one two. Okay, and then I have just calculated my value, which is zero point nine nine five. Okay, so if you want to check what is the value, or my value is correct or not, do the simple integration of this sum. Okay. I am just doing simple integration of this sum. F x zero to one, four x minus three x square d x. Okay. What will I do? Zero to one, four x square by two minus three x cube by three. Okay. Again, I am just putting the value of. Uh, I am just putting the upper limit minus lower limit, which is four by two, which is two. Upper limit is one. Minus zero whole square minus three, which uh, three by three cancels, so I will not consider three. X cube means one minus zero whole cube. What I am getting two into one is two minus one cube, which is one again one, which is just near about zero point nine nine five. Okay, so from this I can conclude that my answer is correct, and this is the formula. You just memorize it. for trapezoidal rule thank you thank you friends for liking our videos do subscribe it and for any queries just comment down below